Depends. The government might think that you can do an adequate identity check and security check on a person uh, for applying for a visa in just 60 minutes, but I'm very skeptical about that. Look, Peter Dutton uh, was part of a government that accepted not temporarily, uh, permanently, over 10,000 people from Syria uh, during that conflict. Uh, Peter Dutton is someone who no issue is too big to show how small he is. I want to change the way that politics operates in this country. I want it to be more inclusive. I want it to be more respectful. The government has made this comparison about other wars. So you've got just over 300 Palestinians who are here so far, more to come. But the government has pointed out that that's less than the 500 Syrians who came here under your government. I mean, is that a reasonable explanation or comparison? Well, 2,200 visas have been granted and all those people can get on a plane and come here as soon as they're able to. So that's an artificial comparison, yes. And the government might think that you can do an adequate identity check and security check on a person uh, for applying for a visa in just 60 minutes, but I'm very skeptical about that. Let's remember, Pete, if you want to bring a skilled worker to this country, it takes months of processing. If you want to bring a spouse to this country, it can take a year. Opposition is calling on the immigration minister to urgently intervene after the widow of a special forces veteran was told she can't remain in the country to raise the couple's Australian child. If you want to bring a parent to this country, it can take five years or more. And they, are we seriously saying that from a war zone controlled by a terrorist organisation, we can tick people off in just 60 minutes? Yes. That is what it is. So, yep. Yep. Welcome to Australia. Mm. I think that is undue haste. Sure. I think that is rush. And I think that's a real risk. What if, what if, and I'm just going to close here because we're out of time. What if they've just got nowhere else to go? So, I mean, I see your point. I see your point. What if they've got nowhere else to go? So it's a matter of urgency. As I said, Pete, there's no doubt there's a genuine humanitarian need in Gaza and Australia does have a role to alleviate that, but we're not the only country in the world that can play a role there. Yeah. And it should never come at the expense of our own security and safety, nor of the security and safety of the Jewish community, who feels more under besieged than ever before in our history and frankly hasn't had the support it deserves from this government in tackling this anti-Semitism crisis. What could go wrong? Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> It's my style. I hope you've noticed that. That was an embarrassing performance.